We're almost there, human. Can you see the lights of her kingdom? They're so beautiful. Halt. Who goes there? Uh, oh, um, please. Uh, we're here to see Queen Kava. Uh, we don't mean any harm. Wait. You two are her consorts. Uh, we, we are. Can you please escort us to her? Of course. Come with me. Oh, thank you. Hmm? Oh, uh, I'm just a little nervous. I haven't seen Kaver in a very long time, and I'm worried that she... She won't remember me. She's taken so many lovers over the years, and what if I'm one of the forgettable ones? Yeah, maybe I'm just being silly. Um, could you hold my hand? Just being close to you calms me down. Thank you. Your Majesty, you have visitors. Oh, really? And who is it that enters my domain? Um, hello, Kava. Uh, it's us, your little beastie and little moth. Uh, we're, we're back. Everyone out. Is it really you? Both of you? Oh, my darlings, come here. We missed you so much, and it feels amazing to be back in your arms. Oh, beastie, come here. Let me kiss you. Mm. Oh, you're so adorable together. <laughs> You're my precious little moth, and I'm thrilled to see you again. Silka, can I kiss you? I've missed having you fluttering in my arms. Uh, of course. Uh, mm. <laughs> Just as sweet and soft as I remember. <laughs> Follow me, the two of you. Uh, where are we going? We're going to my bedchambers, so we can talk in private. <laughs> I see those cheeky smiles on your faces, but don't get too excited. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, don't I? We may not have seen each other in a while, but I know what those blushing cheeks mean, you optimistic little thing. <laughs> Over there is some cold mint tea. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Oh, human, did you want some? I'll get it. You just sit down and relax. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm just... I can't believe you're back. You, you must have walked miles to get here. We did, but it was worth it. We're just so happy to be here with you. Here's your tea. 
beastie. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. You were always such a good, good, good girl, Silka. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you again after so many years. Now come here. Sit beside Beastie and let me look at the two of you. Oh, Kava? Is everything okay? I'm fine. I've... I've just had a lot of time to think. And seeing you both here before me. I can finally share what's been on my mind. I'm so sorry I sent you away. Both of you. But you know that I did it to keep you safe, don't you? You both deserved to bask in the light. And I didn't want to keep you locked away in the cold confines of my caves. We Dryder can get very possessive of our lovers. And I wanted to give you the freedom that you both deserved. We do. And as it turns out, we have more in common than we thought. Oh, incredible. And speaking of which, how exactly did you find each other? This world seems to be smaller than I expected. We met in the forest. The human was camping in the woods, and I may or may not have gotten stuck in a tree. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Again. But they helped me, and afterwards we parted ways. Then, a little while later, I visited their cottage, and we've been inseparable ever since. Truly a stroke of good luck that my darling beastie was passing by. They have such an incredibly kind heart, don't they? I'm just... Wait. I smell blood. Coming from... Silka? Be a good girl and turn around. What? You heard me. Uh, um, uh, of course. Uh, you're injured? Uh, both of you. Uh, let me look at you, beastie. You're all scratched up. Oh, um, oh yes. On our way here, there was a monster that... Where is it? I'll tear it to pieces for... No, no, no. It's okay, Kava. We managed to escape it, and Lady Yazir rescued us. Lady Yazir? Mm-hmm. She gave us shelter, and the human helped clean my wound, and then we made our way here. I shall have to send her my thanks, but... You two... You two put yourselves in so much danger to come back here. You were almost killed. I, I know, but... No, no, no. Look at me. Both of you. Oh. You did something really. Really, really reckless. And I know you wanted to see me again. But if you hadn't survived, and my guards had found your remains, it would have broken me. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess we didn't think of that. It's all right. I'm just relieved that the two of you are here now, and you're safe in my arms once again. How long were you planning on staying? Um, about that. So, the human and I were talking, and the reason we came back here was because we want to stay oh, forever. R really? But I let you go so that you could return to your people. We know, and, and we tried, we really tried. But, in the time we were together, we formed a <laughs> romantic entanglement. And even though we were very happy together, all we wanted was to be back with you. Human, the gift you brought. Oh, what is this? Oh. Two sets of golden cuffs. 
Queen Kava, we humbly ask that you take us both as your lovers. We love you so very much, and while we also love each other, we can't bear the thought of going through this world without you. Uh, I... This is so sudden. Uh, I started this day thinking I'd never see either of you again. And here you are, kneeling before me, asking so sweetly to be my lovers. And you're both certain of this. You won't become jealous of each other? There might be times where our relationship is tested, but we can always talk and figure things out as we go along, can't we? And this is a lot to think about. And you two need your rest after such a long journey. I'll have one of my guards escort you to my guest chambers, all right? Uh, uh, of course. Uh, sorry to suddenly dump all of this on you. But... No, no, no. I'm not upset or anything. I just need some time. But give me tonight, and I'll have an answer for you in the morning, all right? Sure. Um, I, I guess we'll see you in the morning. Absolutely. Now, one more kiss for each of you. Get plenty of sleep, you two. That's an order. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Well, at least she seemed happy to see us again. Uh, uh, is my wing almost healed? Oh, well, that's good. Oh, it's... It's just that. Uh, I've had years to come up with something to say. And all I could muster was, hello? Not, I've spent years thinking about you every night, or we would have walked through fire to be with you. Just a star-struck, hello? Mm. Why am I so awkward when I get flustered? Mm. Oh. Well, at least one of us has a way with words. <laughs> Here, you help me with my bandages. Let me comb your hair for you. Come on, swap places. There we go. Just relax. Hmm. I didn't realize I needed a bath that badly until we were in those springs together. I can't believe how much dirt and dried blood came off. <laughs> uh, hey, you okay? No, no, don't say you're fine. I know you better than that, human. What's on your mind? What if she says no? You're not the only one who's thinking about that. But you saw the look on her face when she saw us again. How she covered us in kisses and hugs. Oh, like we were her lost pets that had come home again. Even someone as powerful and fearsome as Kava can be overwhelmed. And I think she was just taken by surprise. So she just needs some time to think and process things. There we go. That's the last of the tangles out. Let's lie down and snuggle up nice and close. She'll summon us in the morning and we'll take things from there. <clears throat> Let me just uh, turn on my side and nuzzle my head under your chin. <laughs> yeah, put your arms around me. Just uh, be careful with my wings. Hmm? 
I'm more confident than usual. Well, if I'm being honest, I... I feel like... I'm home. You too? Well, isn't that just wonderful? Here, give me your hand. Why? Because I want to kiss it. Over your fingertips. And across your knuckles. And along your palm. And I could keep going, but she said we need our sleep, so... <laughs> Or, I suppose, if neither one of us is tired yet, we can always snuggle until sleep takes hold. <laughs> mm. Perfect. I love you so much, beastie. <laughs> Little beastie, little moth, I have summoned you both back here before my court to make my decision. It's okay. We're going to be okay. Now, both of you, kneel before my throne. Yes, your majesty. You have traveled far to return to me. And seeing you again, brought wondrous light back into my life. As it turns out, I have a sympathy for adorable little wounded pets that come my way. I took you in, healed your wounds, showered you in affection, and released you back out into the world to return to your own kind. But you came back, fell upon your knees, presented me with these beautiful golden cuffs, and asked for the three of us to be united by passion, tenderness, honesty, and love. So my answer to you is, Yes, I want this too. But you must know that our affections will be given and taken equally, and you must be willing to share this love. This entanglement is still very new, and things may shift over time, but I vow to keep you both safe in my kingdom, to embrace you as my lovers, and shower you with all the affection that you deserve. Little beastie, do you agree to this? Little moth, do you agree to this? Absolutely. Wonderful. Then, beastie, present your wrists to me. Good beastie. Little moth, present your wrists to me. Uh, yes. And to all of you, my courtiers, my guards, my servants, you 
I'd treat these two with the same respect that you would show me. If I hear the slightest hint of disrespect, mockery, or ill intent towards either of my lovers, I will be more than happy to make an example of you. Now, my loyal court, I must take my leave. I have important business to attend to. <laughs> Stand and come here, my sweet, sweet, sweet playthings. And let me scoop you both up into my arms. <laughs> I missed being carried by you, Kava. You're just so strong. And I missed you too, my little moth. Mmm, beastie. You feel so damn good back in my arms. Now remember, wrap your arms around my neck so you don't fall, okay? <laughs> good. Let's retire to my bedchambers, shall we? Where I can welcome you back properly. <laughs> I love you both very, very, very much. And I've dreamed of a moment like this. But I thought it was a dream that would never come true. Thank you both for returning to me and proving me wrong. <laughs> and we love you too, Kava. The journey was worth it and don't think about what has happened in the past. We have years and years to come to fill with laughter and love and all that good stuff. Thank you, little moth. And you, my precious little beastie. You've sacrificed so much to become entangled with us monsters and leave the dull world of mortals behind. You are ours, little beastie, and we will not ever make you feel unloved, unappreciated or alone. Ever again. Now, close your eyes and embrace the delicious sting of my silk ropes and the softness of Silka's kisses. I love you, beastie. And I'm not going to ever let you slip away from me again. Thank you.